Greetings everyone. This is the uh, final video for the open source rapid scan voltmeter. As you can see, right here, runs off a uh, PP3 9 volt battery quite nicely. No issues whatsoever. So, this is how I've done it. Very, very simple. As you can see, little connector there. It's onto the back of the LCD module. Links in quite nicely. The pot there, where my finger is, that's just for the contrast on the LCD. Um, decided to uh, add one in on my version. Capacitor, regulator, voltage divider, microcontroller. Very, very simple. All the wiring on the back. Obviously, all that wiring needs to be uh, sorted out. I've got it on uh, little legs at the moment. Not that you can really see it. There we go. It's simply enough to slot it together. So this is the uh, final test version. Yes, the microcontroller does come out. A little bit finicky to get it to uh, behave. There we go. Clamps together quite nicely. Sits up off the desk. <clears throat> hey presto. One of the interesting things about it is if I pick up the uh, positive clip with the negative just lying down on the desk. Yep. I'll pick it up so you can read it. actually picking up a voltage from me. It's kind of curious. I wiggle about a bit. Let's see if I can get it a bit higher. No. Oh, it's actually gone lower. Now it's reset. Oh, there we go. So it actually picks up my voltage. And the... Uh, that's the negative clip. Yep, the negative clip is just dangling in midair. I'm holding on to the positive here. And yet we have a voltage. So if you want free energy, um, look to yourselves. I wonder if you can uh, harness your own body energy. Wait, yes you can been done, oh well. But, interesting, one wire electrical transfer, is it not? Hmm. Anyone seen that happen with a multimeter? Because I have. Anyway, this is uh, pretty much done. Um, the only thing that's required for the open source um, one thing I'm going to do for version 1.02 is, um, well, it drains those batteries, those 9 volt batteries, a bit quick. Uh, three hours, I think I said, well, four hours, but probably going to be too low after about three. So, what I'm going to do, um, is I think I'll, uh, I think I'll use the onboard HLVDs to detect when the 5 volt regulator starts dropping below 5 volts. Um, and then flag up and say, eh, eh. Yeah, you got it right. Eh, eh. <laughs> eh, um, I don't think that's about it. Um, we're going to be using these ourselves. Um, quite handy. Uh, little voltmeters these things are. I uh, found an issue with my um, 
um, battery charger. Not, uh, um, the ripple on the uh, the voltage line was a little bit um, too much. So if I show you now, I'm trying not to uh, short out my 12 volt system because that would not be good. Wait for it to update. There we go. 0.15 volts ripple on there. So that's not too bad. That's keeping it quite stable. I'm quite happy with that. So, without uh, this wonderful little gizmo, I want to have spotted that because the multimeter doesn't pick it up. So, next up will be. Um, well, I'll be working on two of them at the same time. Um, I'm going to be working on the electronics for the CNC machine, Vespers CNC, and of course the firmware for it, which is going to be fun. Um, but I've also got an open source rapid scan current meter to work out. Um, a lot of it's the same sort of coding. Um, but it's going to display a lot more information because it will separate the current flows. As in on one side of the screen it will show you the current flow into your device and on the other side it will show you the current flow coming from your device. And then of course calculate the wattages etc etc. So, um, voltmeter done. Um, oh, by the way, I um, understand that uh, people can't afford the several hundred dollars for the Pick Basic Pro um, compilers, uh, which is fair enough. Uh, myself and Vespa have bought the licenses for the simple reason being that uh, we're heavy on the coding for it. And we need powerful software. Um, so what will become available if anyone wants them, uh, we can send you the hex file so you can program it yourself. Um, if anyone doesn't want to fork out the 40 odd dollars I think for the programmers, um, then we can program chips for you and send you just the chips. Um, we're also going to be making these into small PCBs and when I say small um, I've already done two styles of PCB layout and they are like a third of the size of the LCD itself and slung under the back. So <laughs> what can I say? It's absolutely ridiculous um, the size of the PCB versus the LCD. But there we go. Using cheap LCDs um, for the open source project. So um, what can I say? If you wanted to use micro-sized LCDs, you can do, as long as they are uh, compatible versions. Um, obviously, as you can see here, um, it uses four lines. Now, there is a 2x16 LC compatible LCD available, um, which you'll have to modify the source code for pretty much self-explanatory and I'm sure you can work it out where everything goes um, and that's about it as always have fun take care and I'll see you around bye for now